Hey guys, Garage 79R. The one you see is bolted in the Malibu. It's bolted. The motor mounts are done. Just got done about 15 minutes ago. I'm excited. It's one more thing off the admittedly huge freaking list of stuff I need to do to this car. But, so, um, transmission is propped up on my old uh, Iceman tubular uh, cross member. It's where it needs to sit. It's just kind of propped up on it. I have a stock style Lexus trans mount coming in. Should show up sometime next week. I don't know when I'll get to building the cross member. I can modify the one I have, the Iceman one, but it's more of a drag race unit. It's real light. It's actually lighter than the stock cross member. The stock cross member is about 13 pounds. The Iceman is eight pounds. But it sags. It's set up for power glides and 350s, and generally it was something with much more stiffer motor mounts. So when I had my small block with the 200R4, which is a Chevy Overdrive, it actually sagged so much where I needed a one inch spacer on the mount to get it back to where it needed to be. It's just not what it's intended for. So that's gonna come out, and I'm gonna build one, probably get like inch and a quarter square, heavy wall square, uh, square tubing. Um, I'm a fan of using square tubing. I like the way it comes out. Um, so I'm gonna build one with that using a stock type mount. Um, the mounts in here, I used BMW hockey pucks. And I'm trying to see which slide would be the best one to show you that you can actually see. You can kind of see what I got going on down here. So those are BMW E30 replacement motor mounts. Got them because they're easy, they're double studded. And if I ever need more, well, the market is fully saturated with performance E30 motor mount replacements. So you try, you got to future proof things. You got to think of if you're going to use parts from other cars, what's popular, what's probably going to remain popular. So, so BMW mounts. I wanted to try to use stock Toyota style mounts, but they're so big and bulky because they're factory. The factory ones are hydraulic, you know, for more smoothness. They're so big and bulky, it's just not practical to make work. So, let me bring out my uh, Tercel seat on wheels. Uh, so, I just used the rubber BMW 30 mounts. It's actually what I, so I do a lot of motor mount designs for another company uh, with engine swaps, and a lot of times I base them off of E30 mounts because they're cheap and easy and upgrades are available. So just kind of carried on what I normally do. So yeah, I got a stock type cross member, sorry, a stock type trans mount coming. And so I'll build a cross member then. I gotta you know, keep in mind, so what I have planned is, so I'm gonna have a cross member that's gonna pick up on the existing cross member mounts on the car. This has the frame extension because I had the 200R4 in here. Since it's an 82, it didn't have the second set of mounts. So it has the frame extension. So I'll build the cross member to bolt to that. I want to build another mid cross member that kind of lines up with the, the original TH350 bolt holes right towards the front. If you don't know G bodies, you won't know what I'm talking about. If, you, if you've been underneath the G body, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and I'll drill a hole on the right side. I'm only going to use one bolt. I'm going to drill a hole on the right side in the front, like mirrored of the, uh, you know, in the mirrored position like the, the 350 mount is. And I want to do another cross member there. I'm also going to do another one between the rear lower control arm mounts. So I'm going to have, really, if you count the, the, the modified cross member underneath the engine, I'll have four cross members. But the, the last three that I'm going to be building, they're all going to be tied together. The whole idea is to help keep some strength in this car, if not add strength. Um, you know, I did a lot of cutting on that factory cross member, and I rebuilt it with some heavy wall, you know, box tubing and steel to hopefully keep the factory strength, if not improve upon it. 
It's not a bad thing to have more strength. These chassis are notoriously weak. They like to twist and move around. So I like to turn. I like to put stress in the, in the suspension. So I need this to be as strong as possible. So that's why I want to do this overkill cross member setup. Um, but initially, right off the bat, I'm just going to build a transmission cross member. That way it's properly bolted in at the transmission. And then I'll worry about the extra bracing at a later date because that's not important right now. I got that's not I need to get the car, you know, running. <laughs> so but it's in. You know, it's exciting. I can start focusing on other things. Um I'll even put in the video of you know, like a video of me welding the mount. Um nothing exciting, just you know, taking a hot glue gun to some metal. I gotta get message Kelvin and get the guide for my harness so I can know how to modify my harness to be what I need. Um, we're gonna have to get new connectors. A lot of connectors are bad. And, you know, there's just a lot to do. Uh, so eventually I'm gonna have to get V bands for the exhaust manifolds. Uh, still gotta build a fuel system. And I still gotta fully service the motor. Um, Calvin's got a lot of guides on that on his channel telling you pretty much if you need to know anything about a UZ look up Calvin's channel the cartoons company down in New Zealand um, he is a massive wealth of information and has if it wasn't for him I, I don't know if I would have been as confident in this build uh, I started this build before I even knew of him and then I was you know you get to that point where you're like kind of getting overwhelmed and then with all his information that he's put out there plus messaging him directly I know I can pull this off just a matter of time and patience so um, you know once once all the mount stuff is done eventually you know I'll pull the motor back out fully service everything replace all the seals all the components because um, this motor's got 200,000 miles on it and it was a running, driving motor. You know, I drove the car. That I pulled it out of. I'm going to run. I'm going to build a custom. I'm going to build a custom core support. So the factory core support is pretty heavy. And a lot of guys ditch them for a lightweight setup. And I'm going to do something similar. But at the same time, I'm going to kind of build it to strengthen things up. Unfortunately, this car has been hit. If you look, you see I got one yellow fender. The right front corner was hit at some point. I don't know what happened. It was well before I owned the car. So the actual frame is slightly tweaked, so I gotta accommodate for that. And these cars were never perfectly square. They're, the tolerances were really bad on these cars. Uh, I say it with love. These cars are pieces of shit, but I love them. Um, so I'm gonna try to build some more strength in the front end. I'm going to run a stock Lexus slash Toyota radiator for this motor so I can run stock hoses. Um, I'm even going to run the stock Lexus airbox because I'm weird like that. And plus, it allows me to upgrade. So if I set up with a stock airbox and I go, hey, I want to try to do some more, I have somewhere to go. I don't just start right off, off the bat guessing. The pipe from the throttle body to the mass airflow will be custom because... Obviously, the distance is a little bit different. The airbox is going to sit a little bit further forward in this car, I think, compared to the Lexus. I don't think the stock. I'm going to have to grab my tube from home and see if the length will work out. Maybe I can use a stock tube and maybe just run a longer coupler in between. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll, uh, it's not affecting this build right now. Um, but I'm just excited. You know, I had motivation. I had time to put into the car. Probably the next stuff you'll see on my channel is stuff to do with the Tercels and the Paseos. Um, just because that's what's next. Uh, I have a lot of sh work coming in through the shop. So I just, I'm in this kind of a lull in the action where I've got a lot of parts on order. Parts are showing up for builds. But I don't have everything to start on any of the builds yet. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to work on my car today. Or the last couple days, really. And here we are. I still gotta do some cleanup work on the cross member. It's not, it's, you know, it's.
but it's dimensionally where everything needs to be. I just it's not presentable yet. If you saw earlier, it's still got gray primer on it. But um, yeah, excited. Maybe this car. Do I, do I dare say it? Maybe this car will run by the end of the year. 